Well, I arrived in Notting Hill at the age of 11. I came here with my mother. I was not particularly enamored of the place when I came because it was very different from the Caribbean. I was brought up on the island of Trinidad and Tobago, and I come from a very strong Methodist background. And then I come to Notting Hill, and apart from the bad housing, and the cold weather, um, it was difficult. No is telling you no blacks, and if you're just walking on your own, and it's four or five of them, they'll beat you up. So you have to defend yourself somehow, you know. And then arriving to go to a school where there were no black children, and so people thought me strange, and having uh, another 11-year-old hug me and say to me, oh, you are my very own Nignog. And, um, you know, so it was a difficult time, but we got through it, you know. But it soon became clear to me that the Anglican churches didn't know what black people was all about, let alone worshiping. One priest said to me, Rick, thank you for coming, but I'd rather you didn't come back next Sunday. But all I expected that we would be treated as how we go to the Methodist Church, where I come from in the West Indies, to be one body of the church. And that wasn't much of it here at when we first come, because it was a minority of us. So we had to bear with the kind of suffering. But as a Christian person, you have to accept you'll find these difficulties in life. I think Notting Hill came into the situation almost by accident. But the accident had three ministers, Methodist ministers here, Norwin and David Mason and Jeff Ainger. And they set up this uh, mission here with no money, but just the idea that these people are Methodists, these people are like a tree God planted, and they need assistance to grow. They were very helpful. You know, they would, after the service or something, they would have a chat with you. Are you getting on? Are you all right? Are you okay? You know, so they made it very family-like because I didn't have a lot of family when I came here because I came here on my own. Black people in particular from Jamaica, having heard there were doors opening that would welcome them, they crowded in this place. To know that you came to a church and you could see a black person from maybe Africa, Jamaica, Barbados, whatever country, Guyana, which you, you didn't notice when you went to other churches, you know. Every country from the Caribbean was represented here. It was the first time I had met a Jamaican. It was the first time I'd met a Grenadian. It was the first time I'd met someone from Montserrat because they were all represented here within the Notting Hill Methodist Church. Notting Hill Methodist Church was like a pot, a melting pot that helped us heal our so-called divisions in the Caribbean. These divisions were sown as a result of colonialism. But when we came here, we realized that we were all one people. And most of all, we all came originally from Africa through that whole process of slavery. And for me, that's very important about the role of the church in this community. It brought us together and made us see ourselves as one body in Christ. Because when I come here and I live just over the side of the road in Notting Hill Housing Trust. And I just explain to people where the Notting Hill Housing, come, housing Trust came from. It's from this church. Kedgerton and Chelsea Council was really bad. And the ministry here not only 
dealt with people's spiritual needs, but then got into the queue to stand up and fight the council for people like me to live in decent accommodation. From my own family background, I had a very close link with the whole concept of carnival as being a celebration of our freedom from slavery. And when I came to this country, um, of course we were always looking for opportunities to celebrate that. Notting Hill Methodist Church was the site at which many carnival meetings were held. The ministers got involved in Carnival because of the conflicts in the area and the churches in Notting Hill were very much involved in um, bridging that conflict between the community and the authorities in relation to Carnival. When I became a lawyer, my input into Carnival was very different because I then stepped up doing so many things on behalf of the community to try and indeed fulfill that whole mission that the church started of intervention between the police and the Carnival community because the Carnival was under a lot of pressure from the police who were clearly under orders to ban the Carnival and get it off the roads. Growing up in the community, it was very difficult because you had to navigate racism on a regular basis because you, you, you really don't know what you're coming up against. You, you'll be thinking it's the norm. So when you step into an environment that you feel pure love, that's a bonus, especially when it's not in your own home, outside of home. So that was something to, you know, cherish. The kingdom of God is everywhere. And there's every reason to believe that the Kingdom of God is here in Notting Hill doing what it's doing.